welcome to Improve Your Voice. My name is Darren McStay and if you're new here, this is a bit of a day in the life. I'm going to be doing some voiceover today in a town called Mikkeli in Finland. If you're not new here then hi! Uh, this is what's known as a black box theatre. This is in the University of Mikkeli in the Polytechnic and I've been in here recording some voices for a children's book by a company called Music Fairy Tales and this particular story is called The Secret of the Sea and I've done a voice for a whale and I've done a voice for a sea cucumber slash turtle not quite sure what that is yet and I might be going back to do another voice for an angry shark so we're going to see I'm just waiting here on my yoga mat and I'm doing some stretching and doing some voice work I have my bone prop right here so I'm gonna take you in there and show me doing actually some voiceover work which is one of the main jobs that I have here in Finland so let's have a look say hello, hello. 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 this is the team from music fairy tales hi it doesn't actually matter can you hear them uh, oh, yes. can you hear us yes yes yeah perfect <coughs> okay, is there some sounds beforehand of him scrummaging around and... They're throwing all this rubbish into the sea. Those dirty bags. The whole seabed is full of all kinds of useless waste. Find another little bite of something. Okay. Okay, thank you. They're throwing all this rubbish into the sea. Those dirt bags. The whole seabed is full of all kinds of useless waste. How can I even find a bite to eat when everything is covered up? <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Such a luscious sea read. Huh? First class, delicious, irresistible. Nom nom nom, such a luscious seaweed. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. Lovely. Taste moist. Oh, a croissant. What did I say for? Oh, no. Well, you know how I was once a prisoner in a circus? I was made to live in a small aquarium where I could hardly turn around and the food, mon dieu, it was terrible. Okay, sure. Little bite of something. Yes, I say drown, did I? Oh dear. First class, delicious, irresistible. Now, before I turned up to, uh, to read the script today, I had the opportunity to look at the script. I had it uh, in advance, which is a blessing. That doesn't always happen, but that's good. And I managed to get an idea of character and I managed to make sure, because my characters talk to each other as well, that I made sure that they had different characteristics and different sort of textures or tonalities to their voice and they had a different speech patterns. But then I was told when I turned up that the sea cucumber slash turtle is French. So then I had to think, ah, oh, I don't really know French accents, I've never done one before. So I just quickly whipped online, as you, you tend to do when you want to find something out, and learned three points about the French accent which helped me. One was that the R's, you pull your tongue back to the back of your mouth and it's more like a British H sound. So you go R, rather than R, or R, it's R, R, R. So, remember, remember, so it's more, it's a different kind of sound. So then I underscored every single R on the script. The second thing I found out was that there's a lot of ooh sounds, like the lips are used more than the tongue. So I relax my tongue more, even though I'm pulling it back and creating the R sounds. But I relax it and I keep my lips pursed forward like that. So then this happens a bit more. More, this happens a bit more. The third thing was that I take away the H sounds. Um, so if there's had, 
uh, Harry had a hamster. I'd say, Harry had an hamster. And then that's not the best French accent in the world, but I was able to underscore every part of the script that had those. So when I went past it, I knew something had to change, something to change. So it was either taking away a H, which I just crossed the H's out, or underscoring the R to remind myself to pull my tongue back, or it was keeping, but and throughout I just kept the tongue relaxed and kept a sort of pursed lips um, shape in my mouth. But actually they also, the THs became a Z sound. So this, that and the other was this, that and the other. This, that, and the other. And that's how I did my French accent for that, which is how you can maybe do things in a short amount of time. Try and find three main principles one of air placement and mouth shape, uh, one is the R's, that's always a dead giveaway. And yeah, THs are quite important. Um, yeah, and that's just what I did for that one. The other one was a Scottish wheel. What brings you sea stars to these depths? It has been quite a while since I last saw your kind. So I did it very low, I changed the shape of my larynx, I pulled them down real low and then you made a yawning sound and then relaxed my cheeks and changed the pace a bit actually. I tried to adopt the general Scottish accent which actually it's not as good as I was doing it in the studio and I've lost my voice a bit now from doing all the dreadful of dreaded things sounds but uh yeah that's that's what I've been doing today and that's also how you can sort of change accents up and make differences in a short amount of time if you haven't seen my video on how to do a hundred different voices there's a link here check it out and actually there's more than a hundred voices on there just to, for your information uh, Let's get back in there again. I've got another one to do. <laughs> 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 this <laughs> so that was uh, the recording. That's that's all done now. This is Alex. He's another actor, and there's Risto. He's one of the writers. Hi. And he's calling me back in. I think for some more now. Yes. Ooh, maybe we do a little bit more, but uh, anyway, I'm going to go back and do that. Thanks for watching. I'm Darren McStay. This is Improve Your Voice. And until the next time, look after your voice. It is. It is the most dreadful of dreaded things. Soon we will run out of food. Oh, oh. The wheels must assemble and discuss the matter together.